Welcome back. Monarch butterflies are increasingly closer to being extinct. We told you last week that scientists just added the insect to the international endangered list. Yeah. Dave's with us this morning to uh, maybe help us figure out how we can try and save them. We had, I had to delve into this to, de to figure this out, first of all, Russell, because it's not all monarch butterflies, okay? okay. It's migratory monarch butterflies. And the International Union for Conservation of Nature has added the migratory monarch butterflies to its red list of endangered species. Now, this list is not related to the U.S. endangered species list. So technically they're not on the U.S. endangered okay. species list, even though they are listed as international. So the migratory monarch butterflies, they winter in the mountains of central Mexico, and then they migrate north, and they breed multiple times on their way north, eventually stopping up in southern Canada. There are two. There's the eastern population and the western population. And throughout the years and throughout the decades, Due to the destruction of their habitat, rising and falling temperatures in quick scale, you know how you have like the climates kind of, you know, they're migratory, they're migrating earlier is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And then the weather is not exactly where they need it to be. And that's killing Got millions it. of them. And then there's an herbicide that they use for corn and soybean crops called glyphosate. Clyphos, whatever. Um, and that is killing them as well. So it's been a threefold effect. And this is what got me when I really started to read this story. Between the 1980s and 2021, the population of the Western migratory monarchs has gone from 10 million to 2,000. 10 million to 2,000. The Eastern population has between 60 and 70% it has dropped. And I think the main reason for this, Russell, there's multiple reasons. The main reason is milkweed. Milkweed, obviously, if you think about it, milkweed, it's a weed and it's being destroyed everywhere. But the problem is these monarchs need this milkweed to reproduce. The female monarchs put their eggs on this milkweed plant, and without that, they can't, okay? So the number one thing that we have to do is plant more and more milkweed. I don't care if it's a weed. I don't care what it looks like. This is what is going to save them, obviously. Maintaining dense forests, we know that. We know there's deforestation going on, and you and I personally can't do anything about that, Russell. But we can all plant milkweed, and we can allow these migratory monarch butterflies to continue to go back and forth if we can all in their path plant that and of course if we could find a different herbicide or pesticide to help grow these corn and soybeans that's the one that's killing them as well so those last two are really the ones it's planting more milkweed and stopping this herbicide problem did you know one thing though the one thing i learned from this and i know we're running out of time did you know that they're poisonous no yes because when they when the when the caterpillars eat that milkweed they get the poison inside of them and it's a deterrent for predators oh it's not predators that's killing them unfortunately it's us us and i hate to say it that way but it's true well, that's what it is and when a days, lot of man. predators eat the butterflies they get sick they get very sick and then they see that orange and the black stripes on them and yeah. they don't go near them again so they do a good job of fending off their own predators but we're the predator for them now unfortunately We've got to get more milkweed. It's the milkweed, Russell. We have to plant more. Right. Everybody needs to do it. All right. Okay. Time for a butterfly garden. Thanks, man.